Shalom everybody and welcome to Rega Be'ivrit. Today we are in a very special parasha, parashat Re'e. Re'e means to have a discernment. You see, in this parasha today, Moshe, Moshe wanted the children of Israel to have a spiritual discernment. He understood that as they are entering to the land, they must be able to spiritually discern. Here again, entering to the land is an allegory for the times right before the Geula. Similarly for us today, as we are preparing to the final Geula, we have to have Chochmah, Bina and Dat. Or in English, if you put the Chochma, Bina and Dat, you get the word discernment. We have to have discernment. And one of the things that the Torah speaks a lot about in terms of discernment has to do with the way we discern who are true prophet of God. Who is the true prophet of God? Now, the key text for us today will be on chapter 13, verse 13. Listen to this. He says this. Ki yakum bekir becha navi o cholem chalom venatan elecha ot o mofet. I want to stop there and under explain something to you. Today we have a problem because many people are calling themselves prophets. If you've been uh, ever watching TV, uh, uh, religious channel, people call themselves apostles, people call themselves uh, prophets. And it's very dangerous to use this type of language. But the interesting thing to understand that there are such a thing as Nevi'im, prophet, but the majority of prophets, those who call themselves prophets, are not prophets of God. And the interesting thing, the Navi, according to the text here, can do either Ot or Mofet. Both Ot and Mofet represent some sort of a spirit, super spiritual signs and wonders. I know we are in an environment that, that we are seeking signs and wonders. And of course, when the children of Israel ask Yeshua himself, the Jewish people ask him for sign and wonder, he said, oh, you're a very wicked generation. The reason is, again, parashat re'e, you see what the word re'e means to lirot, is to see, is the eyes can play a tricks on you. And one of the messages of Moshe to us today is, hey, the eyes can play great tricks on you. So be very careful with what you see to discern if this is from God or not from God. This is an important part. And here even more, be careful of the ot. Ot in Hebrew is something that is the supernatural. Does the supernatural designate something that is of God and from God. The Torah speaks about this unequivocally and says, no, that does not de determine what is of God and what is from God. And the same thing is from Mofet. Both those words, Oth and Mofet, the supernatural does not determine that it is from God. And this is important. And he listened to what, what he says. Which is interesting. What he didn't say that the Mofet appeared. It says it says Uba it came, which means it's become very visible for all of us to see this. When it's chasing you, in essence, what Moses said, when the sign chasing you, when the sign stuck in your mind, okay. And Asher diber elecha lehemo, and here is what the prophet says. So, what is the sign of of the prophet? Okay, if it says nelcha achrei Elohim acherim, Asher lo yadatem venaavdam. If somehow the sign or the wonder lead you away from Torah from the Torah, then the sign and the wonder, and ultimately the prophet himself, brothers and sisters, is not a prophet of God. This is important. How do we know it? Because let's go back to 13 verse 1. Listen to how it started, this, this entire discussion, Moshe. Et kol everything, 
אשר אנוכי מצווחה אתכם, that I command you, meaning the Torah, he's talking about the Torah, of course, אותו תשמרו לעשות, לא תוסף עליו ולא תגרעו ממנו. You may not add to the Torah and you may not take away from the Torah. So what is it to mean to walk after other God? If a man that is called himself prophet or call himself an apostle come and he do the signs, even if they do him in the name of God, but somehow detract from the Torah or add to the Torah, then guess what? He cannot be a prophet of God. So what about Yeshua, for example, or the rabbis who, who says, you know, uh, Moses says, like, for example, Yeshua says, Moses says to you this, but I tell you this. Didn't it disqual- disqualify Yeshua from being a prophet of God? Because he says, Moses says, this, but I said that. Doesn't it mean that he added to the Torah? The answer is chas v'chalila, God forbid. What Yeshua is doing is what's called a chidush. Chidush is interpretation to strengthen the word of God. And that something is very important. For example, there's a notion among Hebrew rooters and some messianic that the Talmud, the oral interpretation of the Torah, was given. given or was, was spoken to take away from the Torah. Do you know how incredibly offensive it is to the Jews? What do you think? Jews do not read Deuteronomy chapter 13. They don't know that one should not add or subtract to the Torah. The notion that somehow we are adding to the Torah is an option that is a great offense for the Jewish people. Rather, here's the way the Jewish people interpret it. We have an oral interpretation to the written word of God, to strengthen the word of God, not, God forbid, to take away from the word of God. And this is, friend, a very important differentiation. Why? Because nobody in Judaism leads anybody except to God. So here the Torah concluded in verse 4 and said, Lotishmai divrei anavi ahu, o el cholem achalom ahu, ki hu menase Adonai Eloheichem etchem ladat ayeshchem oavim et Adonai Eloheichem bechol evavchem o bechol nafshechem. So why does God allow false prophets? Why does God uh, allow those who claim to do things in the name of God when they are really moving us away from God and away from the Torah? The Torah gives us the answer. It is to test us, to see if we trust in Him and our trust in men. Do not idolize any human being. Do not idolize any person. Look up to the heavens. to the heavenly our Father alone, and do not trust in men, only in Adonai. God bless you, and this is Rega Be'ivrit for this week.